80 watts up guys today I'm going to be building a Lego pirate ship and this is what it looks like I got this roughly six years ago so I'm just going to build it for you guys hope you guys enjoy this video
back with the Lego pirate ship. It took like two hours and a half to build. And let's start off by showing you the minifigures. Here we have um, a general. He has a hat and a little red piece up here. He has two guns and he has some printing on the front and he has two shoulder pads. And here's the back, he has some printing there and some gold buttons onto the swordfish. This is pretty cool, it's just like a shark, but it just has a long nose, it's all spiky, it has fish's eyes, and it has gills and fins here. On to the pirates. This one just has a stripy shirt, a hat, and he has a smiling face. On the back, he has no other face. I think he's a bit too small to be a pirate, and he has short legs, so you can't move it. Next, on to the chef. He has a dead fish in his collar there, and it's just a rope tied around his cloak, and he has a frying pan, and here's the back. There's a little bow and just rope, and you see, and he also has some like slop on him. He also has an eye patch. On to the captain. He has a peg leg and a hook, that's pretty cool. And he has two shoulder pads, and they're golden. He has a hat, a black hat with some fur coming out of it, and it just has grey. Um, green on the back to it really and he has some printing on the front on to the mini bike here we have two oars and a lamp up there and when you turn it around he has a mini gun there's also three studs here in case you lose them and this little bench there's a little holders to hold up the oars on to the big ship here comes the ship. There's a little flag on the back, but it just keeps on coming off, so he's not going to put that on. So, start off at the front. Here we have a skeleton, and we have a few flags. And we also have an anchor here. You can um, twist that around, and then you can slip like this point see. If you want to do that, you twist it this back up. And here we have, like, just... It looks like it's being sunk for some reason. At the side here, we have four cannons on each side. And you can flap them so it looks like they're not there. And we have a little stand holder for a um, telescope and a sword. Up here, we have a flag and a little deck. So just so someone could go up there and just keep a lookout. And over here, we have a little door that can open up. There's a little ladder and a bucket. And here we have a little basket in case you want to put your studs in there. Onto the back of the ship. There's two lamps here and you can move them up and down. It's also a cannon, you can move up and down. You can move it up and down like that. It's also a steering wheel, you can do that with it. You can take this off to go into the secret room. And then you have a little ink bottle and two lights, treasure map and a bottle on the table. If you take this off in here, there's a little treasure chest. Take it out. Has a hook on so you can hook it on to this grappling hook here. It's not going to put it on yet. And then inside we have three diamonds and two skeleton legs. So I guess we want to go in there for a while. <laughs> and it has a little hook to put here. So then little kid can detect the treasure when the bad good guys are attacking. And you can move this up and down. You can also put like someone on here, but you have to take this off, so you just put someone on here and then you could go. Okay, let's see how hard this jump is. <laughs> then you go off into the swordfish, num num num. And down here we have little mice, and we have a little tank here, it's pretty cool, so let's just turn it around. And if you move it like that, a bad guys will come off, just so, um, 
he's in here and then he was go like or you so. could make them walk the plank yeah then you go like mm. thanks for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed it bye